Hello and welcome to the Fix-It Shed. If you like to save money by doing things yourself, you're going to want to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss anything. This week I have an urge to finish up a project that I worked on over a year ago. You may remember that I worked on this fan and I replaced the uh, three position inline switch, but I never put a box or anything around it. So it's just kind of um, got these, the wires and everything just hanging off of the switch. I bought this little box that I think the switch will fit in nicely and it'll protect the wiring. So let's get you over on the desk and start working. So the first order of business is we're going to determine how I want to orient the box. You know, do I want it this way? And, or you think this way would be better? Have the wires go out like that. I kind of think that might actually be better. Look more a little, little bit more like an inline switch. So this box is just about four inches, a little bit under four inches. And the switch is just about one inch. So if the, if the switch is one inch wide, then we need to subtract that out. Three go, so we're gonna go one and a half inches. Go an inch and a half here and come in an inch and a half from that side. Okay. And I'm just gonna draw a line. And then the width, the width, width is three eighths. So we're gonna go, let's see what do we got. We're gonna go this way. Yeah, so this is just about one inch. So we've got five eighths of an inch, half of five eighths, five sixteenths, four sixteenths, five sixteenths is right there. Five sixteenths right there. Okay, so you can see I've drawn a little rectangle on there. That rectangle should be about one inch by uh, three eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna cut that out. Okay, and I'm just gonna use a utility knife to try and score it along the edge just a little bit, just so I don't accidentally erase the pencil line. Okay, so you can see I kind of scored that on there. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use the Electro Tool Kit. So this is something that uh, my grandfather had, actually it might've been my wife's grandfather had, and it's just a little rotary tool. And uh, it's got a, like a carving bit on it, so it's probably used for wood, but it'll work just fine in plastic. I'm just using a utility knife to kind of clean up the edges here a little bit in the corners. So let's, this has two little tabs here where you can pry it open. Clean up a little bit on the inside. Okay. So let's see how it, does it fit in here. Nope. So we need to widen that a little bit. So how about is it okay this way? And that needs a little bit in all directions. There it is. That'll work. So, yep, now the switch fits in. Okay, so now for the wires, uh, I think I'm just gonna cut a thin slot so that the wires just barely fit into it and kind of get wedged in a little bit. 
by the top on each side here. That way, uh, that'll kind of, if I can wedge it tight enough, it'll act like a strain relief. Okay, so this, I, I, I can't take the wires apart, uh, or I'm not going to take the wires apart and put new ends on them, so I'm just going to slide them in, so I'm just going to cut a groove on each side. deep enough that I can get the lid closed. Yep, that's just right. Okay. So blue goes in the middle. over here and then one over on this side. Okay, now I have the box an enclosed inline switch. Okay, so the switch is now safely encased in this project box and it works as expected. You have a low and a high setting and you can turn it off and it's all nice and safe inside the project box. If you want to see the original video where I installed the switch, I will put a link to that up in the corner. And it also gave me an excuse to play with the Casco Electro Tool Kit, the rotary tool. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. See you next time. Take care. <laughs>